Manila is a city of contrast where both opulence and poverty can coexist within mere meters of each other. While the wealthy enjoy the finer things in life, the poor really struggle to have their basic needs met. It is no wonder that the capital of the Philippines has attracted mixed opinions from foreign visitors. Today, I'm going to show you what type of accommodation you can find in the city and how much further the American dollar can stretch in Manila. I will review a budget hotel room and a luxury suite. This comparison will demonstrate the purchasing power of the American dollar in the Philippines. And I got to say, you can live pretty comfortably in Manila on a middle class wage from the first world. That is actually why the Philippines is a popular retirement destination for people coming from wealthier countries. Without further ado, let's jump into today's topic. For our budget accommodation pick, we stayed at Red Planet. It is a hotel chain and we stayed at their Makati location. Red Planet is not to be confused with Red Doors, which is another popular hostel chain within Southeast Asia. The daily rate for a bedroom with a twin bed was $35 in January, which I found to be very affordable. We arrived in Manila quite late, so we just wanted a hotel room with no bells and whistles where we can sleep comfortably and be energized for the second day. As you can see, the room comes with a TV, a ceiling fan, and an AC unit. However, the AC unit is quite loud as it is old. The room came with a fairly comfortable twin-size bed, and on both sides you get an acrylic nightstand. You also get a safe where you can put your personal belongings that you want to keep secured. Next, we're going to explore the bathroom. The bathroom here does not come with any of the bottle shampoo or shower gel. Instead, you get a 3-in-1 conditioner, shampoo, and body soap. One of the things I did not quite like about the shower room was the fact that the stall did not have a door. It only has one tiny glass panel and um, so the water can easily splash out. Overall, the bathrooms are very clean and simplistic. There's absolutely nothing superfluous inside the bathroom. I feel like they really optimized the use of every inch, even for the counter and the sink. They combined the two together, which I found to be quite an interesting design. Despite the fact that this place does not come with any amenities, there are some perks to staying at Red Planet. For instance, if you need to use a computer or do some research, you can head to the lobby and use their IMAX to perform your tasks. On top of that, you can also go to the 7-Eleven, which is located right beneath the hotel. It's very easy to access and also very convenient. I would say one of my biggest complaints about the hotel is the fact that there is no soundproof windows. Although we stayed on the 8th floor, we can still hear the hustle and bustle from the street below, especially at night. Here's a sample of the noises. It's actually quite hard to get a good night of sleep given the constant flow of traffic underneath the hotel. I suspect that if management did invest more money into the windows, it will help cut back a lot of the noises. Overall, I think that we had a good experience here. If you are a light sleeper, I would definitely recommend that you pay a little more and go to a quieter neighborhood. But um, I think the value is pretty great given that we only pay $35 for a room for two. Okay, so this concludes our stay at Red Planet. I'm sure you have noticed the excitement in my voice and that is because next we're heading to our luxury pick. Raffles Makati is hands down the most beautiful and the most perfect hotel I have ever stayed at. Sometimes when I get stressed, I close my eyes and I envision my happy place. And Raffles Makati is my happy place. For our stay, we booked a junior suite which came out to about $250 per day. Included in the price is also 24 hours butler service, free non-alcoholic drink from the bar all day long, alcoholic drinks during happy hour, world-class breakfast cooked by a French chef, and afternoon tea. Yes, that's how fancy it is. The hotel also has an indoor and outdoor pool, a gym, and also a spa. But since we are not very active, we did not use any of those facilities. The service staff here are all exceptional. They are all very kind and professional. They know how to anticipate your every needs. Raffle knows how to create an intimate setting by limiting the number of rooms made available to the outside. Overall, I believe there's only 40 rooms made available for guests and that creates a sense of exclusivity. The junior suite we picked was 650 square foot and it features one king size bed. Another option is to get two queen size bed for your room. 
The official website has a beautiful description of this room. Each junior suite creates a refined ambiance of understated elegance and classic luxury, featuring an intimate parlor with antique furnishing and a generous marble spa with bathroom with a separate bath and shower. I think this is a very, very accurate description of the suite. I love the mid-century furnishing and also the touches of modern technology. The founders of the raffle chain are Persian tastemakers, and I really think that their legacies are still reflected in the raffle brand today, especially when you look at the care that they put into selecting the artwork for the room. Everything is top notch and top quality. I would just like to highlight some of my favorite parts of our stay, which includes these full size, gigantic ass bottle of lotion, shampoo, and the shower gel. I love the quality of the amenity kit. Another great favorite of mine is the writer's bar, where we went to enjoy afternoon tea while a pianist played in the background. It was such a nice atmosphere. The afternoon tea set cost around $35 and it was enough to fill us both up. It was a lot of food and also very delicious. If you find that it's a little too decadent for you, they also have healthier sets available on the menu. I know I'm going on and on about how amazing this hotel is, but Raffo takes free hotel breakfast to the next level. They not only provide us with a beautiful view of the city, but also an amazing healthy breakfast buffet. There is so many food options here. You can get a salad, you can get some fresh fruit juice, you can get granolas, you can get cereal, and there's so many freaking options. I love the tropical fruit mixes that they have provided. Just so many different types of food my brain cannot comprehend. In addition to the breakfast buffet, you can also order breakfast meal a la carte. For example, here I have miso salmon and some eggs. And then here we have some beef tapas, eggs and rice. The second day we got egg benedict and uh, hash brown and also a beautifully made ham omelette. Last but not the least, the hotel is also connected to a network of malls. So you don't even need to go outside or like go into the open air and you can walk directly into one of the biggest malls in Manila. Actually, it's several malls connected together and inside there's this amazing fancy supermarket where you can get a ton of cheap snacks and drinks and we went there so often and just totally spoiled ourselves with all the treats there. So this pretty much concludes our video for today. I know that I showed you guys two very very different hotels. Unfortunately, we didn't stay at Red Planet for long enough for me to film more footage. But as you can see, there's quite a contrast between what you can get. But Manila is a very affordable city for foreign visitors. If you have the budget, I would recommend you go more towards high-end hotels. But if you're on a tight budget, you can definitely find some very nice and clean hotels around the city. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys next week.